Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gebo the Shaman, and today we're talking about what happens when we have the planet Mercury in the sign of Leo in our birth chart at birth. Um, and if you didn't know already, I am a Vedic astrologer, so I do Vedic astrology readings. So if you'd like a reading, a reading from me, then you can go to vincent.thunderwizard.com. The link is down below in the description. And you can also check out all my products, links, courses, everything that I have to offer, including my astrology readings and stuff like that, up here at Vincent or at uh, Linktree slash Gebo the Shaman. So go to there if you want to check out all of my stuff that I have to offer, you know, that's listed right here. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> uh, let's talk about Mercury in Leo. So when we have Mercury in Leo, um, so first of all, we need to understand what Mercury means and then what Leo means, and then we'll put them together and create our own analysis from it. So Mercury is the planet of communication. Most notably, this is what Mercury is. It's, it's you know, communication. It's like texting, calling, modern communication. It's... Uh, you know, the internet, things like that, it's, uh, Mercury is pretty, pretty, uh, you know, associated with, like, our modern day, uh, conveniences and things like that, so, um, so, like, the internet and things like that, so, um, so Mercury is all about communication and it's interpersonal communication, Mercury also re relates to the uh, to the hands and uh, you know, what do we do with our hands? We're always on our phone texting and whatever um, so Mercury is communication and um, Then we'll talk about what um, You know what uh, Leo means so Leo what what is Leo all about? Leo is all about uh, self-expression, you know, so He's all about, you know, Leo is ruled by the sun. What does the, the sun do? The sun doesn't care if you want it to shine or not. <laughs> it's always shining. So, you know, uh, so this, uh, this Leo energy is all about, um, all about shining, letting your light shine. And it's all about expressing yourself, telling, you know, letting your opinions be known, letting your, you know, your thoughts, your opinions be known and telling everybody what you think and you know some people aren't going to like what you think and that's okay uh you know but it's this like it's it's like the 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 identity the self this is who i am and you know this is who i am and i don't care if you like it or not does this this that's you know leo energy so, you know, not not willing to change for others, not willing to, you know, um, compromise our, our identity and our self-worth and our value um, for other people. So this is what Leo is all about. Um, so, you know, so with this position, with this placement, uh, Mercury and Leo, we have, um, basically, we have someone who is very communicative about their, um, self-expression, so they would communicate their self, their, uh, you know, and, and it's, you know, it has to do with creativity as well, too, so you could be, like, an artist, you could be a musician, you could be, uh, you know, someone who, uh, puts, puts their, you know, their message out there through a creative form, through, you know, you could be an actor and exp express yourself creatively through that. Um, Gemini is all about communication though, so, so some, I mean, any kind of self-expression is going to be a form of communication, right? It's going to be, you know, dressing a certain way, communicates a certain thing, um, you know, di different things like that. So, um, so yeah, it's 
it's um it's all about like communication and self-expression creative self-expression so you know um so yeah with this placement um let me see here let me just check on time guys and i'll be right back so i would say someone with this placement um would be like a could be a very good singer someone who like you know can uh like turn their creative self-expression into like an art form or something like that you get the point but basically it's, you know, it's all about, um, it's like, uh, you know, this really, really expressive personality that you have, um, and Mercury is also our mind, our intellect, so, um, so our mind or our intellect might be kind of, um, involved with um with seeing how we think like how how we uh like thinking thinking about ways to creatively express express ourselves um you know things like that so um using it through an intellectual way too uh so like for example um someone could you know, instead of like being an artist or a musician, they could be, you know, someone who creates, who creates like a, a piece of software or something like that to, you know, to do something artistic or, you know, something like that. So anyway, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here. Um, that's about all I can say for this position. So for this placement. So uh, if you have not done so already and you enjoyed this video, if you got anything out of it, go ahead and leave it leave a like, leave a you know, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And remember, I am a Vedic astrologer, so if you want a reading from me, then you can go to Linktree slash Gebo the Shaman. Or you can also go to uh to Vincent.thunderwizard.com. Alright? And the link is down below, of course. So, um, yeah, um, let's see. So, if you guys didn't already know, I am a, a distance energy healer. I do distance energy healing, which basically combines the qigong that you see here with, um, with, um, like, shamanic healing and um and reiki so i do distance reiki too um these these support groups too uh so i offer support groups and the emotional awareness course those kind of go hand in hand and basically they're i call it the emotional awareness course but basically it's designed to be to give you like some coping strategies and some ways of handling your emotions that are uh, constructive and so you don't have to like turn to negative destructive things like drugs and alcohol to be comfortable and okay with your emotions um, so yeah then we have these support groups are basically where we get together and we talk about them and you know kind of support each other through them uh, so yeah and then we have the career and life coaching so uh, you know, if you, um, if you don't know your, what your path and purpose in, in this life is, and you're kind of confused and just kind of floating, floating by on life, letting life pass, pass you by, then you can go to the career coaching or the life coaching, and there I'll walk you through a, uh, a step-by-step -step process where I ask you questions and we do you know, like a guided meditation, a short guided meditation, and ask you questions, and yeah, it's a pretty powerful process that gets you thinking with your with your heart. Uh, then we have the shamanic ritual magic courses. These basically throw hand grenades into the nine levels of your psyche, and they basically um, 
They basically destroy all your psychological blocks on the nine levels of your psyche, so it's very powerful stuff. Alright guys, and then we have the Cosmic Qigong course. This stuff is so powerful, um, as well as the Self-Transformation Challenge. So the Qigong course, just to let you guys know, is just a standalone Qigong course. Of course, I will be adding, you know, um, I will be adding uh, newer high-level practices to that course from time to, from time. To time. Uh, but basically, it's intended to be a daily practice where you do it for at least, you know, you should be at least doing this for like 90 days to 6 months. So three three months to 6 months um, every day. And it's such a powerful practice if you do it every day. Um, you know, some of the, some of the most uh, advanced forms or advanced energy practices are, are some of the most simple. So, you know, just holding your hands in a, sp in a certain position like this or, you know, um, the, gets the energy moving. And so the program is designed to be super, uh, super simple, but also, you know, provides you with a lot of energy. So um, then we have the uh, self-transformation challenge that combines kundalini yoga which you can see me doing there and um it combines kundalini yoga qigong the lightning qigong which is basically the heart center uh the lightning energy in the heart center um and then we have uh taps in, in and it also uses um meditation so there's guided meditations on there too so very powerful stuff Alright guys, so until next time, we will talk to you later. Peace.